Todd, thank you. Taking a look outside. Nice and quiet after another afternoon of those pesky thunderstorms roaming through South Florida. Here's a look at live first morning Doppler radar. Not much out there tonight. Everything is light drizzle in some spots, but again, everything is wrapped up as we're looking at mostly cloudy skies. You'll see a little bit of clearing as we go closer towards morning, but then we do populate those rain chances back in the forecast tomorrow with another round expected into the afternoon. So impact weather continues as we'll be tracking more heavy downpours in some locations today, like Port St. Lucie, picking up four inches of rain, some flooding in some neighborhoods. Again, that's going to be the name of the game over the next few days. In fact, we've got high rain chances all the way into the weekend. All right, to Francine we go. You can see right here, it is a center circulation. It's right here. It's getting a little better organized as we speak, and we'll continue to do so into the overnight hours. Here's a look at the latest on Francine. In fact, we're getting a new advisory that just was issued. Was this 1120? So this was just just a couple of of uh, minutes ago. So this just coming in now finding as we talked about that Francine is a little bit stronger than the 11 o'clock advisory. So winds have jumped up from 75 to 85 miles per hour and we are anticipating that strength into close to 90 and hold that 90 strength as it does make landfall right there anywhere between Morgan City, Louisiana to Baton Rouge and back out towards New Orleans. So that's going to be the strike zone for tomorrow. So again, this just coming in as we speak winds now up to 85 miles per hour. And then the system moves in as a tropical storm. We're talking about impacts to Arkansas, back up towards western Tennessee, Missouri, and even St. Louis. Tornado threat, high flood threat, even closer towards the weekend. And we're not done. We actually have two other items out there. One has a low chance to develop. The other one sticks out like a sore thumb right here, right? All in the red, high chance of development. This is Invest 93. In fact, since it's been deemed an, an Invest now, we do have spaghetti plots that you can see as we run them over the next few days. We are anticipating this system to get a little bit stronger and then eventually move towards the west and then curve into the open Atlantic. So the moral of the story is still no threat to Florida as far as the tropics are concerned. So showers go over tonight. Everything goes away. And then as we head to tomorrow, here's a look at 430. We'll see the showers develop right along Lake Okeechobee and see how they press closer towards the coast. A big flare up again. So we're talking about noon to about I see 9 30, 10 o'clock for those big impacts. Then again on Thursday, another round of these showers and storms impact in our area. And again, the main threat will be some flooding in some locations because we've seen so much rain over the past couple of days. Way fights tonight. She's running two. tomorrow. I've got them two to three showers and storms. Obviously the hazards out there with the southeasterly breeze at five to 10. Here's a look at South Florida certified most accurate forecast. It's going to be stormy each and every afternoon. High temperatures at 90 the next few days and then into the weekend just a touch warmer low 90s for highs impact weather Todd that takes us into next week with a threat of flooding every afternoon.